dear students in this chapter triangle we have already learned about classification of triangle triangle is possible or not and angle sum property of triangle so today our new topic is exterior angle property so we will learn about how to find the missing angles by applying this exterior angle property right but before starting our topic we will learn about interior angles so now what are interior angles we have already learned about this term in our junior classes about interior or exterior points of a figure so now here we will talk about interior angles of triangle so now what are interior angles the interior angles of triangles are the angles inside the triangle formed by the side right what does it mean that we call the interior angle to those angles which will form inside the triangle as you can see here the figure in which a b c these are the three angles of triangle or we can say these are interior angles of triangles right now here you can see that exterior angle let's talk about it let me show you what and where the exterior angles are right so here the definition is about exterior angle the exterior angle of triangles are the angles formed by extending the any of side of triangle right so what does it mean that exterior angle for getting exterior angle we can extend any one side of triangle let us suppose i'm extending in this triangle this line this side right so here you can see these three figures in which i have extended the lines the sides right so here abc is a triangle and i am extending here bc to point d and here you can see this red color it will represent the exterior angle why it is an exterior angle because exterior angles always formed by extending the side any side of triangle right so here i am extending this side and this will make an exterior angle outside the triangle and rest of all these three are interior angles now in this second figure you can see i am extending here this ac line right so now here ac side i am extending this to point d and now here you can see that here this red color represent the exterior angle and other rest of all three angles are interior angles right so here in the third figure if i am extending this ab ray ab line it will extend to point d and this will make an exterior angle again right so here we have learned about exterior angles and how these angles are formed right so now discuss about the property so here you can see a figure i have taken a figure of a triangle in which i have taken one exterior angle and the other two opposite interior angles now here why am i am i am saying that opposite interior angles because this is an exterior angle and opposite to this opposite to this these two angles are interior angles so we will call these green angles as opposite interior angles and this red color will show us an exterior angle right so here you can see the property from this figure we can make a property of exterior angle what is that exterior angle is equals to sum of two opposite interior angles right so uh, this is such a big property in written so here you can squeeze it by writing the short form of these angles of exterior angles so you will write here ext means exterior and you will make the symbol of an angle of triangles and also you know that we can show the triangle by the symbol is equals to sum of two opposite interior angle o double p means opposite int means interior and this is angle so exterior angle of triangle is equals to sum of two opposite interior angles right so now next we are having the example
So we will take an easy example to understand this property in a better way. So here, let's take an example number one. In this figure, what is given to you? You can see that here a figure, here a shape of triangle and BC line has been extending to the point D, right? And by this, we are having this exterior angle and other two interior angles are already given to us. Now what to do here, we need to find this exterior angle or angle 3, right? So here what to do, we will start the question by drawing the figure that we have already drawn and second step is to give the numbering to the figure. So we will give the numbering that is angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 in any way you can give the numbering to figure. So you can give the numbering, you can start the numbering from here 1, 2, 3 or 1, 2, 3 either 1, 2, 3. So uh, it's up to you in which way you want to give the numbering to the figure. So here you will start the question by writing here in a triangle ABC. What is given to you in this triangle? Angle 1 is 50 degree, angle 2 is 70 degree and angle 3 which is not given to us. We need to find it. So here you will put question mark, right? So now here you just have learned about the property of exterior angle. So what is the property? This is exterior angle of triangle is equals to sum of two opposite interior angles. So you will apply the here the property. Why we are applying here property? Whenever we are having an exterior angle and we need to find any exterior angle or interior angle as well. So you will apply always exterior angle property to solve this sum in an easy way. Right? So here you will apply exterior angle is equal to sum of two opposite interior angles. Below exterior angle, you will write exterior angle, which is exterior angle, that is angle 3. Sum means plus two opposite interior angles. So which are the opposite interior angles, angle 1 and angle 2. You will write here angle 1 plus angle 2. Here you will write angle 3 is equals to, what is the value of angle 1 and angle 2? From above you can see here angle 1 is 50 degree and angle 2 is equals to 70 degree. So now 50 plus 70, that is 120 degree right so here you found the value of angle 3 right so this is the value that we need to find right so here you got the value so let's start with the second example so here i'm taking example number two and in this we are having again a triangle and we have been extending the line ac to the point d right so here you can see from the figure two angles are given to us angle 1 and angle 2 and here the interior angle x is not given to you so what will you do here we need to find the value of this interior angle that means the value of x right so earlier we have done the question in which we were given the two interior angles and we need to find the exterior angle so here what is the question here an exterior angle is given to us already and one interior angle is given and the other one we need to find so how, how we will find it so first of all give the numbering to the figure because we have already drawn the figure so second step is give the numbering to the figure i have given in this way angle one as 80 angle two as 40 and angle three as x so you will write here in a triangle ABC, angle 1 is 80 degree and angle 2 is equal to 40 degree and angle 3 is equal to X, right? So here we will write there what, in, what we need to find, we need to find the value of X, right? So here again, because we have an exterior angle, so you will apply the property of exterior angle. What is the property? An exterior angle of triangle is equal to sum of two opposite interior angles, right? So now here, what is an exterior angle? From the figure you will see, exterior angle is angle 1. So you will write here angle 1. And sum means again plus of two opposite interior angles. Which are the two opposite interior angles? Angle 2 and angle 3, right? So you will write here angle 2 plus angle 3, right? So now here you can see, Angle 1, what is the value of angle 1 which is given to you? That is 80 degree. So you will write your 80 degree. Value of 2, angle 2 is 40 degree and angle 3 is equals to x, right? Now here, what you will do, 
you can see here 80 degrees equals to 40 degree plus x now this concept you have already done in the fifth and sixth standard right and what to do because we need the value of x so you will not touch this so you will shift 40 to the other side so whenever we will change any number to the other side it will automatically change its sign so what is the sign of 40 no sign mean plus sign and then you will change this plus sign it will change into negative so here you will write 80 minus 40 that is 80 minus 40 means what 40 degree or you can write here x is equals to 40 degree so now you got the value of angle 3 so angle 3 is equals to 40 degree this is what we were talking about we need to find the value of angle 3 or you can say that angle a or value of x so you here you found the value of x as well as angle 3 so students these were very easy example and now i hope all of you are able to do the related worksheet that have been already sent to you in your snap homework but before starting the worksheet, student, please go through the YouTube links that we have already sent to you in your SNAP homework. Thank you.